beyond your desire for power allow God train you beyond your desire for marriage children husband wife allow him train you beyond your desire for fame allow him train you allowing God train you is the fastest way for prophecy to become welcome back to tsunami's up youtube channel so today i'm going to be giving you a thoughtful revision on a podcast by apostle Joshua Selma. so this podcast talks about how god trained men in the kingdom so the podcast emphasizes the importance of allowing god to guide and train individuals beyond their desire for material wealth power relationship or fame apostle Selma also encourages viewers to focus on spiritual growth and personal development as the foundation for achieving their destinies so it highlights the significance of preparing and training under God's direction to achieve one destiny. An Apostle Joshua Selman also encourages viewers to embrace patience, humility, and spiritual good, emphasizing that these qualities are essential for navigating the journey from dreaming to achieving one's goal. Personal experiences and biblical examples are also used in those messages to illustrate the necessity of trusting God's timing and process. So please make sure you soak on this message. Make sure you're listening to this message again and again and again because I believe that God is set to do a mind-blowing things in your life. Make sure you share this message. Thank you. Beyond your desire for money, allow God train you. Money is part of the package in your destiny. Beyond your desire for power, allow God train you. Beyond your desire for marriage, children, husband, wife, allow him train you. Beyond your desire for fame, allow him train you. Allowing God train you is the fastest way for prophecy to become. Wishing and just saying, God, do it now. That's not how it works. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for as long as i live i will not graduate from the school of the spirit every training that i need part-time at every level there is a training god is building can i tell you this allow god finish what he's doing in you the training of esther is not the same training as Ruth. their destinies are different don't compare yourself with people and say i started eh? by now i should have a car by now i should have a house by now i am too big to stay in one small room then it means you are too big to receive the anointing destined for you allow god to do what he's doing by now there should be a man in my life who is ready to go and see my parents if a husband does not come by february god is not faithful ah be careful don't curse yourself and destroy your destiny. Allow God to walk what is working in you. Hallelujah. Joseph saw the dream. But between the dream he saw and its manifestation, there was a journey. A journey to becoming before having. Don't stretch your hand to God. Stretch your heart to him let him change your heart change your life then everything can come into your hand hallelujah please hear me as we wrap up tonight i don't want you to forget this message for the rest of this year because many of us what you are praying about will not come now pray in tongues and build your spirit stop harassing god in the place of prayer if you are god i give you one week you promise that is your will for me to do this what is there i'm trusting god for a two-bedroom flat so that i will turn one room into a prayer room you think god is stupid turn your one room there to a prayer room you don't need ac to pray you need zeal and passion don't harass god and try to manipulate his hand many believers think that god is a politician that they can just manipulate some person you may listen to a man of god who is 30 years in ministry telling you he's trusting god for 10 million dollars 1 million dollars and you stand up right where you are just because you had a dream and you entered a room with plenty of money number one go and meet a man of god to help you interpret what that thing means money does not mean money money can mean anything treasure are we together 
but even if it's money you think you will step into it immediately i remember years when i had a vision and the encounter that came from that vision that was showing that god it was in our destiny to work in certain levels of finances do you know how many years from that vision before god's mercy began to speak on that wise some of the things you call oppression is you hurrying god and the grace that will make you walk in ease is not there so you will keep struggling until you meet divine timing and you call it breakthrough when you hurry god he will not force you because he gave you a will but the casualties you will face you are trying to carry a load that is bigger than your capacity in the spirit hallelujah this is what some of you are doing for some of you you need to reduce your prayer point because most of what is in that prayer point is supposed to be answered by growth if you grow in the spirit you will keep ticking those prayer points like that so at your level what you should be doing now is just enter the place of prayer have your goals have your dreams but you are praying in the spirit that your three hours prayer is 90 percent praying in the spirit you are building capacity don't say god give me one billion god loves you he doesn't want you to die can you survive the temptations that come when you hold one billion or you think you just hold one billion and the devil will greet you when god gives you one billion before the one billion enters your hand he will connect you with lawyers he will connect you with friends he will connect you with relationships that can defend that level of growth because there are attacks that follow every level of growth and he will need to surround you with the fortification systems that help you maintain what he has given you are we together so there are people who are just praying blindly show us one of the venues for our conference please if you can let me just use this to wrap up now, i'm showing you this as a family just to inspire you it will be stupid if years ago i would just stand up some of the things that i'm preaching now i've been preaching it years ago it is more powerful now because i have become today greater than i was yesterday you see this is a venue for uk now listen glory be to jesus but i'm just showing you this do you know how much financial resources i was telling the workers it takes to have a place like this this kind of thing can make you worry till they admit you in the hospital are we together yeah. what other place again you are doing three global conferences and planning for all of them at the same time you are not begging you are not borrowing the resource listen listen the resources you are not manipulating people but it's one thing to have money how about the grace that brings the people there there is a grace that brought all the animals into the ark of noah until god trains you and shows you if you think just because you preach where well, people will come get ready to be disappointed do you know what it means to run a global conference like this you must study the policies that govern the use of large auditoriums in every room you must have insurance policies there are many other things there are levels of global relationships you must have this is the school of the spirit i'm saying it i'm showing you this is this the only one you have my dear people i thought any other one you have i'm saying this to inspire someone this is for us now and do you know listen i'm saying this to the glory of god so this auditorium takes fourteen thousand people and it's exhausted we most likely may have to use another editorium the one in canada we've had to apply for five thousand extra people i'm not saying this i'm saying this to you because there is some young man somewhere that is becoming and until you see this your pride now is about to kill you and god is using this meeting to say you are anointed but calm down just because you prayed and two people fell in your fellowship be careful this journey is still far it takes more than greek and hebrew words there is an accreditation system in the spirit and you must ascend by grace until you get to a point where you can handle weightier matters in the kingdom it takes more than money 
media there's no other venue. if there is none then shut it down please you people are distracting us i thought you have one or two venues if there is none then that's all hallelujah but this for instance is an example of what god can do this whole journey started from this same zaria your zaria so don't give any excuse it's not somebody that was trained somewhere and came right here we had our failures here it was open and everybody saw it we went to our crusades here it was open and everybody saw it we could not pay money 150,000 naira you would have called that defeat but that was a training in the school of the spirit those days our ladies were in worship team welfare team any team you join your own just make it work <laughs> see that prayed and fasted and our ushering department alone were more than all the people who came for the crusade can you imagine that you pray and fast and transport yourself almost to death and you arrive at a venue and there are just a handful of people but you preach and then you now preach and there were miracles but we were owing imagine the sound people who were there hearing you shout and say jesus saves jesus can lift and you are owing them the crusade was done finished and you are saying you have an unusual challenge it's a lie you don't have any unusual challenge that is how champions are trained find strength don't let the devil fool you your problem is not unusual we finish and the money to even pay the drivers that return the team we had to last with the drivers that by the time they get to main gates here their money will be waiting for them don't be discouraged today we are doing great things for the kingdom to the glory of his name we are writing our story remaining your own my assignment is to stand as a prophetic midwife and help you to show you that it is possible in Christ if God could do it in our lives from our humble beginnings then God can do it everywhere are we together today God has carried the prayer point of many 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 destinies and has given this ministry as a gift can I tell you one last prayer point I want you to cry and say everything that would distract me pride flesh whatever it is that would distract me from becoming father cut it away from me go ahead and pray go ahead and pray whatever will distract me take away pride take away an arrival mentality Take this last prayer point seriously everything that will distract me from working out my salvation by faith with patience with endurance with obedience cut it from my life Whoa. My season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my time has come. Oh, my time has come. Hey, 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 Ebenezer, my help has come. Oh, 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 my season has come. Oh, 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 
my season has come. Bala shala barako sabra dege beleko shabra skabaratus. Rada bala zebele ketabras kabaratus yata. Becoming by the Spirit, evolving by the Spirit, working out your salvation by the Spirit. Work out your own salvation. 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 